Hey, what's going on boys? Monster here. We are back with a brand new video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new update that is coming to our... Probably it's already out. I'm not 100% sure. I'm recording this at 6.30 a.m. right before I have to go to school. So, I'm going to try and get this out of the way and explain everything as quickly as I possibly can. So, the first major thing is the brand new S-plus structures that are being introduced to ARC. These are a very big thing that ARC and Wildcard have been working on for a while. There's been many beta tests going on for a few months. I'm pretty sure with the S plus on some public servers many people tested this out and now they finally feel confident enough to finally push this out some of the features coming in this and also this update is called homestead I'm not exactly sure uh, if they're just giving this update a name or if it's actually a mod or what it actually is I, I think that's might what it be but I guess we'll just see when it comes out they don't really tell you exactly what homestead is at least in my opinion so some of the things that are actually coming is dedicated bulk storage triangle foundations ceilings and roof or high walls fence support for level walls flexible pipes and electrical cables double doors swappable variants for ramps and stairs and new visual variants for existing structures so we'll get a little bit more in detail as to exactly all the things that are being added and then also they are changing the kibble into six different categories so basically all small eggs you can tame all small creatures all uh, super small eggs you can tame all super small creatures with just one kibble so basically they're compiling all the kibbles in the six different categories and then with one of these eggs you're going to be able to tame all of the dinos instead of needing one egg for one dino you're going to be able to use all large eggs for all large animals basically that's the easiest way to summarize it now this should be coming at around 10 a.m pst tomorrow so i think that's 1 p.m est that's when i should be getting home so this update will be coming out for pc ps4 and xbox one all at around 10 a.m pst so by the time you guys are all home or seeing this video the update should definitely be out of course so it is wildcard so who knows if it gets delayed anyway the exact patch news of everything that's being in s plus a variant system added structure variant system to cycle visuals for a structure structure pickup enabled pickup on the following items elevator platforms elevator tracks electric generators grill industrial forge industrial grinder chem bench fabricator tech generator tech replicator and a tech transmitter oh my goodness they also disabled the pickup of beehive so everybody that probably used the beehive duping method if you guys didn't know if you had somebody else come and pick up the beehive at the same time as you then you could actually duplicate the beehives and they removed that so now you can no longer duplicate beehives they also added a setting where you could set the structure pickup hold duration for unofficials so that's a cool brand new server option for you homies out there they added smooth sidewall variants like the stone foundation to stock square foundations so i think they just mean that they made the textures look a little bit nicer that's the easiest way to describe it when we're in game you'll actually see what they mean they also added in the triangle foundation, triangle ceilings, triangle roofs, large four times high walls, flexible pipes, flexible electrical wires, stairs uh, with freely swappable ramp variants. So it's kind of like you're going to be able to build stairs a lot easier and it's not going to take up so much space is what I hope they mean by this. Also double door frames and double doors and also something super cool, tech dedicated storage. Tech structures that allow storing a large amount of a single resource. So that's that's very 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 cool they also have fence supports that allow you to build on fence that are level along the top I'm not exactly sure what that means but we'll probably understand when it comes into the game I think this might mean you could put a fence on top of a wall and then maybe build on top of it I don't know I'm sorry I'm just assuming here I'm not a builder and I don't play S plus I'm I play on Xbox just like all you most of you other people who are subscribed to my channel but the tech dedicated storage is something that's very interesting and I've actually seen this on PC before when I was playing like one time a few weeks ago and this is actually really cool you can store a mass amount of one type of resource in each of these different tech structures and it can hold just a ton of that one resource so it's very useful now also like i said they actually did a whole kibble rework and now they have made all the kibbles and put it into just six different kibbles so right here we have the basic augmented kibble this is used for taming extra small creatures and it's made by extra small creatures eggs so basically with the dillo egg you can make this with the dodo egg you can make this with a kakaru egg you can make this and then you're going to be able to tame a dodicarus still an ankylo still and all the other things that these eggs contain so then we go to the simple augmented kibble these are for small eggs which are something like the pterodon egg the raptor egg the patchy egg the obi raptor egg the gallimimus egg so you're going to be able to tame beavers with this still you're going to be able to tame paraceratheriums with this still and the other dinos that you can tame with small eggs 
And then we can go into the regular augmented kibble, which is medium sized eggs, and this is like the Stego, the Trike, the Volanosaur, the Kentro, the Diplo, the Carno, and other dinos like that. Then of course you have the Superior Augmented Kibble, which is more for large dinos and larger eggs, such as the Mantis, the Argy, the Megaloceros, the Snow Owls, Tabajaris, Tyneboas, and things like that. Then you have the Exceptional Augmented Kibble for extra large dinos like the Rex, Giga, Bronto, Quetzal, and other large eggs, extra large eggs like that. And then finally you have a special type of kibble, which is Extraordinary Kibble, and that's made up of special eggs. Now it's not too sure or doesn't really describe exactly what you're going to use this for, but this can actually be made by Wyvern, Rock Drake, and Golden Hespinornis egg. So going down the patch list a little bit further, they actually fixed a bunch of exploits, and one of these exploits is actually the floating base. If you guys didn't see the video I uploaded a few days ago, it actually teaches you guys how to make a floating base in Ark, and super unfortunately, after I made this video, they're literally patching it today. So I kind of regret making that video now because I actually really enjoyed it, but whatever. So they fixed the exploit with that. They also fixed the Titan downloading exploit. They fixed the Velanosaur exploit and also a platform saddle exploit. They fixed some crashes with the taxidermy and shoulder pets. And then they also nerfed Manic Armors so, so, so much. So they also fixed a bunch of issues with it, but also when you freeze a mana armor, or for when a mana armor freezes a dino with a rider, the rider doesn't get kicked off anymore. It just get, the rider gets frozen for one second on top of their mount. Also, a player frozen for within either standing, crouching, or prone position will not be able to move out of that. And the duration of a frozen player is now functional with health and armor rating, meaning you won't take as much damage. Also, the duration of players frozen has been significantly reduced over overall and then they also reduced the mana armor ice breath damage by 25 percent and then added in a new frieza mutant icon Alrighty, so some of the other things that have to do a little bit with meshing and building and stuff they fixed buildable space outside of bounds fixed multiple holes in meshing locations move the desert tie-in player spawn point to an area inside the structure prevention zone that's a great idea wild card i'm glad you guys finally did that uh fixed climbable trees in extinction i'm not sure what was wrong with them but hey at least are fixed now. Uh, Kakaroo's base affinity increased by 30%. Ice Wyverns fixed creature icon being blank. Item stacks, they fixed an issue with the raw prime meat. Reduced Mosasaur speed per level up by 50%. Reduced the Manta speed level up by 75%. Gas bags set to the mature rate as woolly rhinos due to the similar utility capabilities. Gigas are now increased damage required to enrage by 55%. So that's pretty big. We haven't had a Giga nerf or buff in so long, so we finally got a buff for them, and that's really dope, I guess. I don't, I, I can't wait to see how this changes some things on uh, unofficials, because they're very easy to enrage with the pump. Max crafted pump, you shoot them probably about three times, and they should be enraged. So now maybe it's going to take a full clip to enrage them instead. I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad to see something like that's happening. Corrupted Hearts fixed item to use uh, icon correctly. Mind Wipe. Characters can now respect once every 24 hours. That's also a very big thing. And now you don't need to save a level or you can't Mind Wipe because you're max level and you already used it. So that's pretty cool. They also set the primitive elevator platforms and tracks to be craftable by wood instead of using fungal wood. And they also improved the search filtering on inventory and crafting menus. Now some things specifically just for the Xbox and PS4. Fixed an exploit related to tech swords. Fixed an exploit related to rafts on the center. Also, the Mana Garmers, some of the issues were fixed by them, and then also the Ice Breath will no longer be stopped by Dino Leashes. The Ice Breath freeze amount is now more significantly reduced by the distance and clamped forward dash movement to a horizontal plane. Cryopods disabled following after releasing from a cryopod. Now they show genders in the tooltips. The tribe logs now display the name of the cryopod owner whose cryopod broke, and they also fixed for the Dino Owner not transferring when stealing another tribe's dinos in it. So for the environments, remove the ruins of Nasty Gate. I have no clue what that is. If any of you guys know what that is, please tell me in the comment section down below because that actually sounds cool and I'd really like to know. There's not many things I don't know about Ark because I've played for so long and that is one of the things that I have no clue what they even are. Reduce shadow cost of some meshes so they kind of optimize the game a little bit. Defenders are now harvestable for light robotic materials such as electronics, element dust, 
scrap metal, and maybe crystal? I don't know, something like that. Bear traps are now placeable again. Tech diners now drop electronics and metal as attended, intended, and movement. Fixed players getting stuck when walking all foundations in single player. Wildcard, that's not just an issue in single player, that's an issue when on all of the servers, on unofficial, on official. That's not just single player. Please, if you guys did not fix this on anything besides single player, I'm going to be a little bit mad. And then they also reduced the Desert Titan total HP by a third. So that's pretty dope. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about these patch shows in the comment section down below. I'm glad that they just did a major overhaul of tons of different things. And this shows that they're not just focusing on one thing. They're trying to balance the game and do tons of different things to it, which is dope. It just shows progress. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be very excited for is when will more content be added in. I missed back in the day in the beta stages before the game was officially released two years after, you know, it was already being developed. Uh, I miss those days when there was a brand new dino every week or every two weeks. So can we can we please start that again? Hashtag dino every week. That would be really sick and it probably wouldn't be that hard. I I would pay a five dollar to subscription a month for a new dino every week. Like I I don't know anything that would get new content into this game actively every other week, every week, every three weeks, at least every month. Please, I'm so bored of playing Ark at this point. There's no on consoles how do you expect people to want to keep playing i just add new content every couple of weeks or something wildcard i beg i beg i beg but that's gonna be it for this video i hope that you guys did enjoy and i hope that you guys are now informed with the patch notes and if you guys are make sure you guys hit the like button also if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions or you guys want to just talk about some of the changes leave a comment down below and i'll happily have a discussion with you anyway dudes i hope you guys have a great day i'll talk to you guys later goodbye